Greetings, whiskey folk, and welcome to the very first dram of our 12 grams till New Year. And dram number one looks really cool. Uh, I, I can't wait to try it. Uh, it's one that I've been sitting on for a little while, waiting for an excuse to open it. Uh, so December the 20th, 12 days till New Year, we are going to open a Dua Rattray. Um, now this is an independent bottler, an independent bottler that we actually had an entire tasting for at the beginning of this year. And it actually spawned some of my favorite whiskies of the year, including uh, um, the Glenburn, the Glenburn 25, which is absolutely phenomenal. It's still available, actually. But this was not one that was uh, that was in that tasting. This is one from a, quite a while before that. This is a Glencadam 30-year-old. A 30-year-old Glencadam from uh, A.D. Rattray, or actually Dua Rattray. This is how long ago this was bottled. It's called Dua Rattray, not A.D. Rattray. They actually had to give up the rights to the Dua name because, you know, the guys that have the Dua's blend didn't, didn't like them using it, which is probably fair. So what's this one all about? It's aged 30 years. It's, of course, cask strength. It's 54.4% uh, ABV. Uh, it's, you know, got the, the signature of, uh, I think it's Stanley Morrison, um, the signature, so again, quite a while ago. Um, it's from a Highland region. It's a, uh, it's a bourbon. It's cask number 7588, and they got 216 bottles out of this uh, ex bourbon cask. And it was distilled, look at this, in 1975. So, uh, yeah, this is an old whiskey. It was distilled in 1975. That's actually 13 years before I was born, which is kind of cool. Uh, it was bottled in 2006, so bottled quite a while ago as well. Um, yeah. I'm gonna read the back as well. I'm sure it's changed since uh, um, <laughs> it's probably changed in the last 15 years. So let's see what it used to say on the back of a AD Rattray slash Dua Rattray bottle. The quest for the ultimate dram is the ultimate dram a dream, not for the fortunate few who discover their ideal. We help them in their search by bottling every whiskey in our cask collection at its natural cask strength and color without chill filtration. One result is that in cold temperature, the whiskey may develop a slight haze, which will disappear at normal room temperature. Another is you will experience its true flavor as the master distiller would want you to. A D Rattray. Oh, sorry, do a Rattray. I'm automatically translating. Uh, do a Rattray.com, product of Scotland. So yeah, really, really neat bottling. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Ooh. There we go. Got a little necktie on it as well. What's the necktie say? It says, it feels like Christmas. I'm like opening a bunch of gifts. Uh, Glen Caddam, 1975. Color full gold. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty golden. It's almost the same color as this table. Um, burnished copper center. Nose, tropical fruit salad, mango, guava, and banana. Palette, classic fruit medley, intense and lasting. Simply divine. Nice. And uh, yeah, pretty much the same same information on the label as it was would have been on the box. So why did I choose this whiskey? Why why did I choose to uh, to get this into my personal collection? Why why do I like this whiskey or the idea of this whiskey? I don't know if I like it yet. Hopefully I do. Um, and hopefully you guys uh, tasting along will uh, will like it as well. Hopefully there's some uh, tasting notes in the comment section already. It's uh, and if not, then there's still time. You don't you, you can still leave your tasting notes. Please do. Yeah, well, Glen Caddam kind of burst onto uh, the, the whiskey geek scene, if you will, a couple of years ago when, uh, um, I guess, my fellow YouTuber, or, uh, <laughs> I, yeah, he's he, he's substantially uh, more experienced than I am, but Ralphie, uh, the YouTube whiskey star Ralphie, actually declared that the Glen Caddam 15 was his whiskey of the year a couple of years ago, and people suddenly started taking a lot more notice of them. Um, I've enjoyed Glen Caddam for a while now. Uh, we've had some really good bottlings through, through various official and in indie bottlings. Uh, I've also, got to be honest, quite liked the fact that it's a Scotch whiskey which uh, finishes with my name. I mean, it's Glen Caddam, which is nice. Um, and, you know, much better than having a, a bourbon with my, my last name. Bradshaw Bourbon. Yeah. It's, I mean, I haven't actually tried it yet. It might be good. It is a bit weird that it's named after a football player. Yeah. Anyway, let's... Crack open the first whiskey of the 12 drams till 2021. 12 drams till New Year. And I've already failed at opening it with the foil. All right, I'm going to butcher this lid a little bit. Let's, let's see. And of course, one of the things to worry about with, uh, with older whiskies, I mean, this one's been sat around for 15 years since it was bottled, is, is the cork still in good, good condition? And uh, I'm going to peel off the entire 
peel off the entire thing there to see how careful we have to be with the cork. It looks to be pretty good. There's no giant slits in it or anything. Hopefully this will just come off in one piece. Let's find out. I might have to go get a sieve if not. Ooh, there goes the air pressure. Oh. It's a little stuck. Let's see if I can wiggle it off without breaking it. Oh dear. All right. Well, I'm going to go get a bottle opener. I'll be back very soon. Nice. All right. Well, I managed to get the cork out without any uh, falling into the bottle, which is amazing. Um, that's probably the least satisfying cork pop that we've had on, uh, on our YouTube channel so far, but it is a sign of... Uh, Probably a pretty good old whiskey. So let's see what this Glencadam is all about. Again, I'm only having a tiny drop now because this has got to be shared. Hmm. That is a rich smelling whiskey. That doesn't smell entirely bourbon. I've got to say it doesn't look entirely bourbon either, to be honest. It's a, it's a very rich reddish color, which normally normally would uh, point towards more of maybe a European oak, maybe a sherry cask, but that's very, uh, very pleasant on the nose, as God, as one would hope <laughs> for a 30 year old Glen Adam. So initial note of uh, dried apricot, maybe some orange blossom honey. Hmm. Oh, that is rich. That is, that is very, ooh, that is really good. Mm. What does that remind me of? That reminds me of, um, reminds me of like a Deanston 18. It's got that big buttery, butterscotchy thing that I find in Deanston 18, but just condensed and pumped up in volume. Ooh, it's warming. It's really quite orangey, quite butterscotchy. Very, very nice. I think we're off to a good start. Um, 12 drams from New Year, guys. One down, 11 more to go. I'll see you tomorrow.